Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Just had a nice conversation with my new buddy, Carl, from stringing.com. He really wanted to talk to me. Let me tell you about what we just spoke about in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so my new buddy, Carl, uh, emailed me and said, hey, can I talk to you? I just need a couple minutes of your time. Uh, I'm like, okay, sure. So I gave him a call. Um, he runs a personal stringing service in Pennsylvania called stringing.com. So, and he said, you know, there's a way that I string a racket that I really can't tell you how I do it. But it would be an honor for you to try it out. So I'm like, okay. I was like, he's like, just mail me what you want. Mail me the strings. Um, like, so, and then I'll string it for you. And I want to know what you think of it. It's a special way of stringing that takes about an hour per string job that basically makes the whole racket enhanced, like a whole racket string bed, a sweet spot. So I'm like, okay, well, I can kind of guess where we're heading at this. And, and I was, uh, the first thought into my mind is Coach Chris strings it away like the strings, strings it similar. Uh, it's the Sargetti method in which each of the strings are kind of tensioned a little bit differently depending upon the length of the mains and the length of the crosses. As you can see, this racket is obviously, sh this string, this string is actually shorter than this, right? Therefore, you compensate for the length with the tension. So this would be strung looser because the distance is shorter. This would be strung tighter because the distance is longer. And it would be the same for the crosses. So you're kind of tuning, you're kind of tuning the string bed to the length of the mains or the crosses, therefore making a more consistent string bed. I mean, Coach Chris has been doing it for a little while now, and I've known of the stringing technique for 15 years. I just don't like to do it because I mean, I don't, I personally don't see a point in it, but, um, that's what my guess is for Carl. But, uh, I'm, you know, we had a very nice conversation. I'm going to send my racket in and I'm going to send one of coach Chris's rackets in because since he's actually does that stringing method, maybe he can tell, um, if it's the same. Because it doesn't sound like Carl's going to actually share with me what he's actually doing. Okay, so I'm going to pack up two rackets, one of my own, one of Coach Chris's, and ship it off. Okay? All right, guys. So, about a week or so later, my man Carl shipped me back my racket that I sent him. He emailed me and said, I got your rackets and they're coming back to you. Oh, hello. We got professionally strung. Oh, we put a little hair tie, rubber band in here. Just like a professional. Man, I feel like a professional. I don't even do this for my customers. So we got a new plastic bag. Little cool black rubber band. Pro Staff 97. Okay, that I sent to Carl. Um... That's going to be for Coach Chris, because I know how ultra-sensitive he is. And then, this is mine. You know, Coach Goo is not so sensitive, but Coach Chris, he like me, kind of. He hates everything. So, so if, if Coach Chris says he likes this, I don't know, the world might come to an end. All right, so this is mine, and I got a cool black rubber band too. So, Coach, so uh, 
Carl actually does this first class, man. I guess he knows this is mine. Okay, let's see what, what Carl wrote me here. These strings are going to need about half hour breaking in time before you really start to feel good. 30 minutes and feel good. All right, so one thing I need to add is, actually, I need to see how what it came out to, right? My tensioner. All right, so higher in the sweet spot, according to this tensioner, um, it's 59 pounds, high in the sweet spot. In the center of the racket, it's 55 pounds. So there's definitely some kind of uh, change going on in the racket of the tensions. Now I'm gonna take Coach Chris's racket and do the same thing. According to this, according to this, it's tight here and it says literally 79 pounds here and in, in the center it's 41 which is 59 pounds so interesting okay well we'll have to see what happens when we get on the court here let's see what if i can feel anything My guess, my guess is that these are tuned to the same tension. So, uh, you know, that, that, that Sir, Sir Jetty method, uh, in a way, uh, may be in play here, right? Maybe. I don't know that. And Carl won't tell me. So we'll give it a shot now. Coach Chris with his pro staff. Me and my Clash 100 Pro, okay? Okay, so we just got off the court. <clears throat> We've been on the court for maybe an hour or so, but this is kind of like our second time already. And Mr. Carl already said uh, it needs about 30 minutes to break in, okay? So Coach Chris has been, this is what, your second or third time already on this thing? Um, Coach Chris, go for it. Um, so playing with this, I felt that it was very similar to the Sargetti way where you have a string kind of denser string pattern in here and then looser kind of on the outside and i think this is very similar to that because when i was hitting in the sweet spot right here in the middle um, i felt the ball pretty uh bite quite well on it and spring back from it really well uh interesting it's that i can i guess that's probably my guess to what he would he did it in terms of how he was his secret way um, how was the 30 of, minutes and then how about after the 30 minutes? Uh, the very beginning was a little stiffer, but then after it started breaking in a little bit more, it started loosening, I think loosening it up to be kind of what he wanted was this part, this sweet spot being a little bit more flex because I think the other strings were a little bit looser. Um, maybe he strung it a little bit tighter in the very beginning and then once it kind of worn in after 30 minutes, everything started becoming a lot more um, there's a lot more bite to the ball. So, yeah. All right. So <clears throat> I kind of felt the same thing. Like the first 30 minutes, um, felt a little on the stiffer side. Uh, my guess, which is the same guess as coach Chris is that it's definitely tighter through the center here. Like that T part right here, like the longest part would be tight 
and then over here would be tight also and then it kind of loosens up at the end that's only our guess because carl wouldn't tell us um the, so after 30 minutes i felt like the tension might have either loosened up or evened out a little bit more it felt great like after that 30 minutes and definitely it pocketed more and i was able to get a little more power out of it and it only took 30 minutes so yes uh, carl is correct after 30 minutes it actually played pretty un unbelievably um, so I, I like to even tap it but it still feels stiff in the middle like i mean i'm about two hours into this now and it's still like i can't really press it and i only after 48 but whatever magic carl did to this uh, it feels good i mean i don't know if it's my imagination but my racket's a little rounder i did measure it and it's still 27 though and i did measure chris's too because his looks a little rounder too but all in all right i good good string right my confidential held up really well in this um carl did his magic and it felt good so coach chris any final words um it's still a really a big secret to me i felt like maybe he might have tensioned it like i said uh a bit tighter in some areas to then have like a slow release into what he wanted us to feel which was that kind of where the ball just pockets a bit more and really snaps back after you hit it so i think he was trying to mess around with that I'm not, not exactly sure but i think that's what he was trying to go for right so he kind of tuned it in a way in which 30 minutes you got a a perfect instrument yeah right so so if you guys want to check out carl he's at stringing.com i'll put a link below to him if you want to test it out uh, he's out over in uh, pittsburgh pennsylvania I want to thank my man coach chris coach chris where can we find you you can find me at cb chan tennis that's it and that's it we always got to end with that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.